Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I figured today we would do a blush collection slash declutter because I don't realistically know how much stuff I'm going to get rid of. I just know that I can't fit anything else in my drawer. So, I got to do something. Um, so, I figured first we'll start off with the cream products. Um... And the first thing we're going to start off with are these ColourPop Super, so Sho Super Shock Blushes. This is in the color Brute Flute. This was from the Wine and Only collection. That color is gorgeous. So, I'm definitely keeping that. <clears throat> these colors are more unique to my collection. Um, I don't have a lot of deeper blush colors. So, I'm definitely keeping these. These are going to be great for fall. Uh, I have to get my good old towel. Okay. All right. Next, I have two of these uh, J-Cat Blush Malo Blushers. Um, I actually have three. I have one that is in my shop, my stash right now. So, I'm not, I'm not pulling anything out of there. Um, and that is a very pretty orange color. And that was the shade, did I say? That's Dolly Peachy. And this is the shade Tootie Fluffy. And that is what that looks like. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to keep them. Guys, I'm probably going to keep a lot of my cream blushes because I'm really into that recently. And um, I don't have a lot of them. Sorry if you can see my little clicker and some of my foot. I really tried to find a good angle to do this declutter. So, I hope this is a Kosas blush in 8th Muse. I got this from a BoxyCharm pop-up. And it looks very oily. Do you guys see? Hang on. Do you see how oily that looks? I don't know if that's going to be a good color. I mean, uh, good to put on my skin. I know. I mean, it looks very pretty. Like, that shade is gorgeous. But, I don't know. I think I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile. And I'll come back to it. Because I just don't know about that one. Alright, so I have these ColourPop blush sticks. I have... Cottage Life, Coastal Drive, and Picnic Time. This is Picnic Time. Love that color. I don't like how these, you see how they come out and they break really, really easy. But the color is beautiful. And I love how these go on the skin. So, um, we're going to keep that one. This one is Coastal Drive. This one is a more unique color to my collection. Um, we're going to keep that one. And this is Cottage Life. I'm going to put that one over there. And we're going to keep that one. And then I have my two Tower 8 28 blushes. I have uh, Power Hour and Rush Hour. I actually meant to get Magic Hour. And I picked the wrong one. I picked this one. Which it's still a very pretty color. Um... But it might be too deep for me. I haven't used it yet. Um, but, of course, this one I love. You guys know me. I'm a sucker for, like, peaches and pinky colors. So, we're keeping all of those. Um, the last one I have in here is the Wonder Tint Cheek Mousse by Morphe. And, guys, these are really good. I really like these. Um, so, I'm going to keep that. I have a Wonder Beauty uh, one that's in a kind of like a shape like this right now that I'm using um, in my uh, Shop My Stash. And it's it's really good, too. I like that one. Um, this is where... Okay. So, I have the Jaclyn Hill uh, Empress Blush. Um, I want to get a different shade of this one. It's, it's gorgeous. But look, I mean, that is like stunning. But it is so loud. I mean, there's a buffed out. And yes, I have hairy arms. Um, but anyway, so I definitely like these. Um, I just want to get another one. I'm going to finally throw the packaging away on it because I don't need it. 
I don't know why. I tend to keep the packaging of stuff that's my newer stuff. Um, I don't know. I, I'll keep it for like ever and then I'll just wind up throwing it away. So this is the NYX Bear With Me Luminous Cheek Serum Blush in the shade Peach Bronze. Um, it's like, they're so sheer. The problem I find with these blushes is they're like, they're so sheer. You like really have to work to get any color to show up. And then it can just blend away so easy if you're not careful. So I'm going to keep that one. And here's why, because I'm getting rid of this Maybelline Cheek Heat in the shade um, nude burn. I do not like the way this goes on. Um, if I can get some out, it blends away to nothing and it's like almost impossible. I mean, it looks pretty right there, but on the cheeks, it does not, I mean, it just completely blends away. So, uh, this one is going, so that is technically our first declutter. Woohoo! Um, all right, so I have this shade in the Cheek Dews from ColourPop, the shade Beyond. Guys, you really have to shake these because they start separating and, like, they're new. So, like, this one hasn't even, I haven't even opened this one and it already had started separating. Um, obviously, I haven't used this yet. I do know what the formula is like, though, because, ugh, see, that's so liquid like. Guys, I'm not even I'm not even going to attempt to work with that one. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I've told you guys before these aren't my favorite formula. There are like one or two of these that I can work with, but this is not going to be one of it. It's brand new. I'm getting rid of that. Um let me wipe some of these swatches off. I didn't bring any makeup remover down here. So, all right, I have this flushed blush from Sephora. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you guys have seen out of the little tubey, like the tube size blushes, this is my favorite. Um, it's a very fluffy and airy, and I like this, and I definitely recommend um, some of these. This is the shade Cloudy Pink, so I'm going to keep that one. That's what that looks like. Here is the ColourPop in Starfruit. This one I am going to keep because uh, the color is pretty and it's not as bad as that Beyond shade. That's what that looks like. Hibiscus. This came with the um, Lush Life collection and I love this one. So I'm keeping this one as well. That's what that looks like. The shade Passion Flower. This one I also have not opened. So let's go ahead and see if it's something I want to keep. If I can get this off. Hang on. Um, Yeah, you know what? I'll keep that. That looks like a, a, a unique red. Like a red bronzy color. That would be unique to my collection. So I'm going to keep that one. And then the shade Hotline, which, ugh, see how bad, like, you, you see all that blob that just came out? Let's shake it up. And, of course, I like this one, so I am going to keep that. All right, and then the last, like, liquidy blush is this Rare Beauty. I got this as, like, a free gift with purchase or something, but that is just... Oh, this is a lip souffle. Why, not, why is it in my blush drawer? I thought maybe it was a blush. Never mind. Okay, so we're just going to throw that over there. All right, so from my cream blushes, which I didn't figure I would get rid of a lot of, but from my cream blushes, I got rid of the ColourPop Cheek Dew and Beyond, the Maybelline Cheek Heat and Nude Burn. And guys, I don't, the only reason I want to keep it is this color right here. But you know what? I have uh, some bigger Natasha Denona. 
No, I'm going to keep this and I'm going to actually try to use that. I know I hate it when YouTubers do that too. No, I'm going to get rid of it. No, I'm going to keep it. But I'm going to keep it because I actually haven't used it on my face yet. And so I actually do want to try it. Okay, so that's that. So I have this Jacqueline and I'm going to get rid of this box now too. Um, Like a loose, what, what does she call it? Luminous Rouge Blush in the shade Love Poem. And guys, I like this formula. I know that a lot of people were like, what? But to me, there's just something so beautiful about that. Like, look at the sheen. It is gorgeous. Um, I don't have loose blushes. I mean, that's something that not, you know, a lot of brands are doing. And maybe there's a reason why. Maybe people aren't interested in it and don't want to deal with it. But guys, it's gorgeous. And I have used this on my cheeks. And it just gives you a beautiful feel finish on your cheeks. So, I'm keeping that. All right. Um, let's go through, let's go through these before I go through the palettes. All right. So, I have this Ciate blush in Summer Love. Um, I feel like it's just so light. Even, I mean, I'm going to use this if I'm going to use it. Of course, I'm going to use it in the summer because it's like a glowy kind of product. But it's so light on my skin tone. And it was even lighter, I mean, in the summer when I'm actually got some tan to it. I don't, I don't know. That's like a blush topper. Do I need to keep that? And guys, that kind of reminds me. Does it remind, let me see. Let me just, Yeah. Guys, these look almost the same. So, and I've had this for a while. I don't know. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. I'm going to set it right there, and we'll see. This isn't going anywhere. This is my Dior Backstage Blush in 01 Pink. And, guys, I do not have a pink color like this, and I love wearing this during the springtime. Um, it's very light, very buildable, which you want when you have a color this pink. You don't want, bam, pigment straight out the gate. Or at least I don't. So, definitely a keep. Um, let's go through these little NARS ones because I know I have a palette somewhere that has some NARS shades in it. Um, this is Dolce Vita. That's what that looks like. That's a beautiful color. Uh, I'm going to keep that one. Goulet. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this one um, because I have this one in a palette and that's not my favorite color on my cheeks anyway. So, we're going to declutter that one. Um, NARS Orgasm. I actually don't have this in a palette. Um, or maybe I do, but I don't have... I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep that one. And then my big one I have in Deep Throw. I also have another one of these somewhere else. I don't know if it's in my shop, my stash, or... Um, I like this. This is a very pretty color. That is why I bought the full size. Um, these either came in, like, minis or just, like, a gift with purchase or something like that. All right. This is my Dior Charnel. Um, I'm not getting rid of this. I love this blush. It is a gorgeous, everyday type of nudie color, and this isn't going anywhere. Oh, I have another NARS blush right here, another one. Uh, this is in Sin. Yes, I love this color too, especially during like the fall and the winter. It is so pretty with like a mauve purple eye. Um, the Natasha Denona Bloom blush in, I guess it's, that's just the name of it. Um, love this one. It is so unique, and I don't have anything like that. And when you put that on your cheeks, oh, glow goals. Let me try to wipe these swatches off. So, I'm keeping that. I am, I already know, I'm going to go ahead and keep this diffused heat. I actually need to pull this out um, for summer. It looks like that. Um, It's gorgeous. I don't buy from Hourglass anymore um, because of, well, one, all the controversy they have about, like, their palettes, you know, their three-pan palettes like these. And then they just tried to sell us, what, five eyeshadows for, like, $160? No, thank you, ma'am. So, I'm not buying from them, but 
Um, this is my California blush. I love it. Like I said, I mean, I have tons of these colors, but this blush I think I'm going to get rid of. I think it's time just to say goodbye to it. It is my Milani Romantic Rose. Yeah. And it's pretty. It's a natural, everyday, nudie color, but it's not my favorite blush. It just isn't. I bought this because there was so much hype about how great it was. Um, and like I said, the shade's pretty, but I got other formulas I like better. It's not terrible. It's a good drugstore blush. I'm just, I don't need it, and I have to get rid of something, so um, I, I'm decluttering this. Okay, sorry about that. My kid came downstairs asking to play uh, something. I'm pretty sure I told him yeah, and I'm pretty sure it was okay, but I can't, <laughs> I don't really know what he asked. <laughs> do any of you parents do that? He wanted to play something on the PlayStation. It's something that's already downloaded, so I'm sure it's okay because we don't have any games that they can't play. But um, this is the, oh, and I went ahead and oh, uh, wiped my hands off with some makeup remover. The shade Always Cheeky by e.l.f. I love these little primer infused blushes. I think they're really good. And they're so affordable. They're like, what, five or six dollars? Um, definitely worth it. Keeping this. This NYX Ombre blush in the shade Mauve Me, I have kept over and over again because I say I don't have any color like this. But that is not true anymore because I got that shade Sin, and Sin is like so similar. So I'm getting rid of this Nick um, NYX Ombre brush bl blush and I'm keeping the Sin color. And the reason I'm not keeping two is because I don't wear that enough for, you know, to need two of them. Um, this is the Patrick Ta shade. She's Sin, 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 Sincere. Oh my gosh, I have so much trouble with that. Um, it's a pretty blush. I am not gonna buy any more of these because to me, it's not worth the price tag. Um, I actually don't think any of Patrick Ta's products are worth the price tag. I have his bronzer, the cream, and the powder bronzer too. And I don't think it's worth it either. But I am going to keep it because I spent money on it and it's expensive. Um, one second, my son. Okay, I'm back again. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Blush and Kinks and Kisses. Um, I like it. I'm going to keep it. It's not like a bad formula. The formula is good. I actually bought this when it was on sale, but not like sale prices they've been having on Marc Jacobs lately. So, um, I'm a little, I, I, I should have waited, but I don't even know if these are in stock anymore. This is Becca Wild Honey. Part of me wants to get rid of this because Becca's not going to be a brand anymore. Um, but I love that color and it's really pretty for the summer. This is Becca Wild Honey, so I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm not getting rid of any of my MAC blushes. I can just tell you guys that now. I love MAC. Um, I know it's not fashionable on YouTube lately to still be into MAC, but I am still so into MAC. And this is the shade Margin and it is, it's just gorgeous. I mean, you can't deny there's something special about MAC blushes. This is Gingerly. Um, and I don't have a terrible amount anyway. I have tons of their lipsticks. Uh, their lipstick formula is my favorite. Uh, love that shade. Um, and this is Desert Rose. And, oh, this is so gorgeous. I just, I love, I just love these shades. Um, so, I'm keeping that. Um, this Revolution Matte Blush in Nude I've had for a long time. I use it. It is a very good drugstore blush, but I just don't need it. I just don't need this color, um, so I'm decluttering this. Guys, I'm not doing too bad. Um, I mean, I might not have one of those savage declutters that, like, people clutter, declutter 80% of their, um stuff but it's not terrible either this is Tarte exposed um this i decluttered a lot of my other Tarte blushes and this is the only one i kept um i also have a face palette that has some Tarte blushes in it but do you see it like gets hard pan and nothing ever comes off and i'm tired of this i didn't think i was gonna do it but i'm gonna get rid of this i'm i'm just ugh. 
there is, is there's too many good blushes to sit around and try to work with that kind of stuff. It just it's not worth it. Um if somebody wants to like mess, you know, take the layer uh, top layer off of it or whatever, you know, that's fine. And when I say declutter, I'm going to let you guys know I do not sell things on Poshmark or whatever. I give to friends and family member and I have tons of people to give to. All of this stuff has basically been used, so I can't donate it to a women's shelter. They don't take it around here and yeah, don't ask me for stuff. So, because I'm, you're not going to get it. Uh, this is the, that peach though by Bare Minerals and it's their gin nude blush. Unless you're my aunt, because I know my aunt watches all of mine. If you're my aunt, yes, Aunt Mammy, you will probably get some of this. Um, that peach though, I like that color. So, I'm keeping that. Um, I'm avoiding my ColourPop blushes for the moment. This Juvia's Place blush, uh, it's the Serafina blush, is very pretty. Hang on, baby. I love that. It is such a unique color. Uh -uh. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and go through my Beauty Bay blushes. I got a lot of them, guys. I think I got these where they were like two or three for the price of two or they were like half off and they're only like three dollars to start out with uh this is bloom i don't think i'm getting rid of any of these unless because i picked out the colors i really thought i was gonna wear um this color ah i dropped it um the shade blossom love it that is just and coral i think this is the matte one yeah this one's a matte one so gorgeous. These shade peachy because, of course, what I tell you, peachy, pink, corally colors, just, they just do it for me. And the shade Bitten, which is more of a, like, pinky kind of, would you call that, say it had a little bit of mauve or just a straight pink? I don't know. But I love all of those, so I'm keeping all of those. Um, I have this. Milani Baked Blush in the shade Dolce Pink. I've had this forever. And I remember loving this, but it like looks like straight glitter. But mm, that one's a little more peachy. Mm. I'm going to keep the Ciate one and I'm going to say goodbye to the Milani one just because um, this one's a little more peachy pink and that one's more straight, just straight pink and uh, I'd prefer to have the peachy pink one. So that one's going to go. Um, here are my other Milani. I have, of course, Luminoso. This is the original Luminoso, not the one that they like after they changed the formula. Um, and of course I'm keeping that. And then these are the newer packaged ones. Um, I hear everybody talk about these colors too, Berry Amore and Rose de Oro. So I bought them, um, and I've wore them and they're gorgeous. I love these Milani baked blushes. Um, they're like, they're just so pretty and they give you such a pretty sheen. So I'm going to keep those. This is my Clinique Cheek Pop in Heather Pop. I bought this one because um, my first name is Heather. Yes, Star is actually a, my real name. It is my middle name. Um, and I go by Star. But it's Heather Pop and I had to get it and it's a pretty color. And of course I'm keeping it. Guys, I have a love, like a very strong love of Essence Blushes. They are extremely good for the price. I don't think any of these were over $4. Um, and I just love them. I did get rid of one shade earlier in the year because it was a very, very, very light color that didn't even work on me when I was at my lightest. Um, but this shade is Bespoke. And that is just a pretty, like a bronzy I would use that if I didn't want to use a bronzer and I didn't want to use a blush and I just wanted one thing during the summer, I use this. Um, this shade is Befitting. 
and it is just a pretty like pinky mauve. This essence, this is their satin touch and satin coral. And guys, it is gorgeous. I mean, you can't beat essence blushes for the price. Oh, and I just bought all of their, what were they, six pan eyeshadows. Um, I can't wait to do a review on them for you because I want to know if they're any good. I saw Heather Austin do one, I think on the like corally one. This is the shade Bury Me Up. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised with her, you know, and I haven't seen anybody else talk about them. So I went on there just to get that one, but they were all so affordable. They were like $3 for like six bucks. I bought them all. I just bought them all and we're going to test them out on my channel and see if they're worth it. Um, I'm, of course I'm keeping that one. That one's bearing me up. Um, this is the beloved shade. If I come across any that are like exact dupes like these two are very similar so i think i am going to keep the hmm do i want to keep the matte one you know what? I'm going to keep the matte one because I have a lot of glowy blushes this color. So, I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one because they just, they look so similar. They're going to look exactly the same on the cheek. Um, that is my, okay, hang on. That is my son giving me what I call a booty call, which means he needs me to go handle him. He's three. Um, this is 10 Adorable. And... Hmm. I don't know. Let me okay, guys. I am back again with freshly washed hands. And where were we? We were talking about this Essence Silky Touch Blush. Guys, I like this, but it's really light. Um, I don't know because I am probably the darkest I'm going to get this year. I am a light medium, but I am so close to medium right now that if I put on a medium foundation, I doubt it would... Um, it would pro it would probably match me. Um, this is something that I would only use when I'm at my very lightest. And, can, I mean, you can barely even see it. I'm, I'm going to declutter this. Like I said, I like the Essence blushes. But I'm really, I'm just wanting to keep the blushes I really want to pull for. And I just know I'm not going to pull for that anytime soon. I'll probably, if I did, pull it out in the dead of winter. And then that would be it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Essence Blush in Adorable. All right. Let's go ahead and go through my ColourPop blushes. Yes, I keep the packaging on these. I cannot help it. Um, it's just so cute. How am I supposed to throw this away? This is the shade Foxy. If you hear something, that is my toddler in here with me. And there's I nothing I can do about it. Um, <laughs> Mama. Yes. Shh. All right, I am keeping that. I love this shade. Yeah, me too. You too? Yeah. Okay, let's be quiet. Remember? Give this video a thumbs up if you are a mom with small children and just love makeup. Um, this is the shade Out of Sight. It is a deeper corally color. Um... There we go. All right, so that one's a lot deeper. Um, I like both of these. <clears throat> I'm going to keep them. Probably not going to get rid of many of my ColourPop blushes. I just got the Powerpuff Girls, and I got, like I said, I got some more of those stick blushes, all of that. They're up there with my new stuff. <clears throat> so I didn't put all of that in here. I literally am only put like putting in my the stuff that's from my actual like collection. Um, in my drawers. This is the shade Tearing Up My Heart. Once yeah, again, the packaging on this is so cute. I didn't buy this collection. I just bought just this blush. And <clears throat> now I don't know why. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it is, it's extremely light. It's not, did I keep any blush <clears throat> like that? Guys, I'm sorry, my I need to get some water. Um, I mean, that looks similar, but that shows up better. 
What do you think, Mama's baby? Keep or get rid of? Keep. Keep? Yeah. All right. We're going to put this one off to the side. My son says keep it, but I'm going to think about it. Mama's going to think about it. We're going to see. All right. All right. Um, this is ColourPop. This is Rustica. This came out at Ulta, um, and I picked it up from the lemon cello thing. I didn't see this um, on ColourPop when I originally bought this uh, collection when it came out. I think this came to Ulta, and then I don't know if they put it on the ColourPop website afterwards or not, but that's what that shade looks like. Very unique, so I'm keeping that. My favorite ColourPop, ColourPop blush of all time is this Mulan in the shade Matchmaker. It is gorgeous. It is a, like a deeper, more cool toned version of this one right here. But I love it on the cheeks. I know it doesn't show up well there, but it really does look good on the cheeks. Um, so I'm keeping that one. Stay right there. All right, this is the Secret <clears throat> Secret Crush Powder Blush. Um, Do I want to keep this? I, like, bought this whole collection, and then I got rid of one of the palettes. I think I got rid of the Boudoir Noir. Um, Keep this one. Let's look and see what this other one looks like. This is in the shade Love Story. That's like a very bright pink, though, bud. No. I need to keep that one, too. I need to keep that one, too? Yeah. Uh, all right, back up. Uh -huh. Um. I guess I'll keep both of them. I mean, if I don't use them in the next couple of months, then, I'll then I'll give it away. Yep. That's right. And these were from the Making Mauves collection. This is the shade Catch My Vibe. Once again, it's a very pinky. Like, that is like, wow. That kind of reminds me of my Dior one. Let's see. Oh, no. They're completely different colors. Is that coming off on? That's like much more pastel and vibrant. So. All right, let's see. This is the shade Coast to Coast. This is a more mauvey color. Um, I'm not sure about that one. I don't know. Let's put that in the maybe pile too. And then, um, to finish off this little basket area right here, I have my uh, Natasha Denona Love Cheek Duo Cream Blush and Highlighter. And I'm not getting rid of this. You would have to pull it out of my cold, dead hands. This is going in the casket with me, as Teresa is dead would say. Um, it is just gorgeous. Um, if you guys don't follow Teresa is dead, which everybody should, um, go follow her. Um, she is, like, what I aspire to be when I grow up, even though I'm the same age as her. Um, but, unfortunately, I can't talk like she does because I have kids and a job where if people actually watch my videos, they would be disappointed. So, um, here are some of my elf ones. Let's go through these. Um... Alright, so this is the shade Cantaloupe. I'm keeping this. I don't have any type of like yellowy blush like this. And it's so pretty. And the highlighter is gorgeous too. So I'm keeping that. Um, and these don't really include my face palettes. These are just the ones that were in my blush drawers. So... I mean, I still have face palettes I need to pull out and go through later on. Um, this is in the shade Guava. I'm going to put this in the maybe section, too, because I don't know. This is in the shade 
watermelon. And guys, I haven't even opened this one yet. I have so many plushes that I have not even used. And this is why I'm doing a declutter because I constantly still have new stuff coming in. And I just want the blushes to get used and have a good home. Um, so this is in the shade Watermelon. I don't know why I say that. My oldest son says it like that. And I don't know if that's from like a YouTube or TikTok or whatever. But that's Okay, so at some point I quit recording. So I'm getting rid of Spiced Apple. I am keeping cantaloupe and watermelon and I'm sitting here and trying to decide what I want to do with these three. Um, I swatched them out. These two look like the highlighters are going to be too deep on me. This is lychee and pomegranate. And this one I could probably work with, which is guava. So I'm going to keep that guava one. What do I want to do? Back up, baby. Uh, I'm going to get rid of pomegranate. And I just love these colors. I'm going to keep that for now. I don't know if I can use that highlight or not, but I'm not giving up on it yet. I can't. Um, Why? It's too pretty. Okay. So, the last little bit I have is these. I think it's time for me to say goodbye to this blush trio. You have to back up, baby. Back up. Thank you. It's not that I don't want him to be in there, guys, but he's only in his underwear, and I don't want everybody seeing him. Um, it's pretty. I have a bunch of shades like these two, and realistically, that would not even work on me as a bronzer. Um, so that is the pop of rose. Um, those were pretty, I mean, they were like good alternative options for those, um, Anastasia trio blushes, but I got rid of my Anastasia trio blush too, because I just never wore it. Um, let's see this Mac holiday palette. It has a Highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. That blush was a very pretty pinky color. Yeah. Um, I'm going to keep this. Yep. Yeah. There's no reason to get rid of it. Um, and like yeah. I said, I still yeah. love my products. Um, this Makeup Revolution Peach and Glow, I am going to get rid of, though. Yeah. Um, back up, baby. It is gorgeous, but I don't need it. I have a lot of colors like that, and uh, I'd rather declutter it and somebody else get some use out of it. Let me just move that so he's not in. All right. This Jouer Adore Blush Duo in Adore Me. Um, it's pretty. I kind of wish I had bought a different shade. Of blushes but they're pretty and they work so I'm gonna keep that and this Alamar cosmetics um I had a, another trio of blushes that had very similar shades in it that I decluttered um, in favor of keeping this one already this year so um, I'm gonna keep that one this wing in it okay guys this has been who remembers when Colourpop did these um, anyway, who remembers when ColourPop did those? Oh, it's still so pretty. Can you guys see? I've, like, moved the camera. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what to do. That color is gorgeous. But I don't think I've pulled for this in, like, over a year. I'm going to put that in my maybe pile. This uh, Colored Rain Power... I don't know. I don't really like the blush and like the highlights pretty, but I, I'm going to declutter this. I'm going to get rid of that. All right. And then I had this Natasha Denona blush duo in 022, I think is what it's called. 
Um, I got this from a boxy charm. I'm going to keep it because I haven't actually used it very much, but I've got a feeling I'm probably going to wind up decluttering that sooner or later. One I am not decluttering is my Blushed Ro uh, Rouge Volume 2 from Juvia's Place. They are gorgeous. Can you see that? Ugh, I'm like all out of frame now. I was set up perfect and now... <sighs> Anyway, um, no, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Uh, of course, I'm keeping my Natasha Denona Bloom palette. It is everything. I have not used this color yet, but I cannot wait to. Um, it's on my knuckle. That's a bad swatch. But that color, I mean, it's going to be... Oh, I'm totally using that for just like an editorial blush look with like no eyeshadow um during the fall all right so i got these two bh palettes i've got vanilla peach and chocolate cherry and the blushes are really good but do i need them Like, I don't want to get rid of these because they're pretty, but realistically, like, this one looks a lot more unique to my collection than this one. This, I mean, I want to keep it because I love peach shades, but realistically, like, I have all of these. No, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to pass this one along. Somebody else can get a lot more use out of that. And I just don't want to be the person like I said that keeps stuff around just because I'm trying really really hard to get it down to a decent collection because I don't think my husband is going to let me have not that he lets me have anything, but I don't really have any more room for anything else. And although he would buy me more storage and stuff, I mean, there's nothing I can do if my house is like, ah, too small. Um, I'm going to keep this Jacqueline palette. This is the Lilac Love Top Tan. Um, I can't wear this one right now because I'm too dark. Um, but I still love this, uh blush color and bronzer when I'm not quite as tan. So guys, that is it for my blush to clutter. I'm going to put everything back in its spot, count them up, and then show you guys what I'm decluttering and how much of that. So I'll be right back in a second. Okay, so I kept 53 powder blushes and how many creams? Seventeen cream blushes. Um, we still have these to go through. I really don't know what to do. I think I'm going to keep this one. It's a uh, unique, and I like it. You can totally hear my kids upstairs wrestling. Um, this blush. I'm going to pass it on. I don't need it. I doubt I would get enough use out of it to keep it. This one I'm still having trouble with. I know it's old. Um, and I don't even want to keep it for this side in particular. I want to keep it for this. Like, like look at that. <sighs> mm, I'm going to keep it. I'm not ready to part with it yet. If I try to part with it, and then I'll regret it, and then I'll wind up pulling it back out anyway. So, I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Okay. So, I just messed all that up. I am going to show you everything I got rid of. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, not amazing. Um, 
I don't even think it was like 25% of my collection, but it's also not terrible. Um, I bought all of this stuff unless it came in like, well, I mean, I still bought it if it came in like a boxy charm, but if it was like a free gift or whatever, none of this stuff was PR. Um, I don't get PR. So yeah, guys, this is what I'm getting rid of. And I call this a successful declutter and I, I got to declutter something next. Uh, I don't know. Should it be my highlights? Should it be my foundations? I'm not going in any particular order. Uh, just let me know. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the um, craziness of being a mama, if you know what all that's about. Um, just give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I'm still getting engagement, so it's okay for me. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, just remember, makeup's for fun. It's not supposed to be judgmental. And I'll see you in my next video.